Glowing Up Latina, <laughs> Season 1, Episode 12. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Glowing Up Latina. Hello. Hey. I'm Christina. I'm Amanda. And I'm Liana. How are you guys doing today? Doing fine. I'm excited because I got here on time. <laughs> and I drove by myself and I found parking all by myself. So today started off pretty great. <laughs> uh, yeah, same here. I got up early. My laundromat in the neighborhood is finally open. They had to renovate the whole entire thing. So I went in there. Uh, washers are clean, brand new, dryers all shiny put my laundry in and then i was gonna go <laughs> and get a cup of coffee because the laundry mat like in the front in the opening in the entrance area there's like a little they have like like high tabletops so that way you can have like your coffee while you're waiting for your laundry to finish up and i was like oh i'm gonna go get my cup, <laughs> my cup of coffee and then come back but on my way to get coffee i found a vendor who was selling arroz con leche and tamales and i was like I'm going to go get me some. So I did that. So now I'm having my arroz con leche. So good morning. <laughs> yes. Doing well. How about you? Oh, I'm hanging on by a thread. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. It's okay. It'd be like that. Be like that. But you know, we're going. We're gonna <laughs> just keep on trucking along. Mm-hmm. Today, you guys, we are actually going to be talking about self-love. This is the next topic in our mental health series that we're doing for this month because may is mental health awareness month Mm -hmm. so you guys just gonna get right into it (laughs) (laughs) how would y'all define self-love i think self-love is taking how do i say this understanding what you need Mm -hmm. i guess like taking Mm -hmm. like just doing what you need for yourself to keep trucking along or like keep on hanging on by a thread. Like even if it's that little thing, like understanding, like I, I have to keep doing, I have to keep going kind Mm -hmm. of thing. I think that I think I would define that as self-love in a way, because like, you're not, to me, that means you're not giving up on yourself. Like you're, you're just like, Mm -hmm. I can do this. I can, you know, I can move forward kind of thing. I like that. I like how you said that you're not giving up on yourself. Yeah. That is self-love, taking time for yourself. Well, self-love to me, again, I don't want to sound vain, but it's more like being comfortable with how I look and how I feel inside. Like, does, like, do my feelings inside match how my appearance? Not to sound vain. I don't um, think that sounds but, vain. Mm-hmm. But like, I need to make sure that both match and then I feel I have a lot of love for myself. So to me, that's self-love. But also not giving up on yourself. I love that one. I didn't think of it that way. That's nice. Listen, love is a lot of work. So. (laughs) (laughs) But again, at at the end, love conquers all. Yeah. So yeah. Self-love. Yeah. (laughs) Christina. (laughs) Uh, For me, I think self-love is about Having compassion for yourself, patience with yourself, giving yourself a little bit of grace, all of those things. Because for me personally, I can be like my own worst critic. Mm -hmm. So I definitely have learned over the years to just give myself that space to to make mistakes and and also to realize that like sometimes I'm going to mess up Mm -hmm. and... Or that I'm going to do something that I think is going to be great and then it turns out to be really, really awful. <laughs> and not being so hard on myself because at least like I had the strength or um, I don't know, whatever, to attempt it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. I can't find my words today, you guys. So it's really great that we do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. And then there's also the Amanda side of it for me, just like being comfortable in my body, being comfortable in my own skin. And loving like what I see in the mirror. Mm-hmm. So, it's a fun, fun. <laughs> I don't even see. I can't Tough find man. the word. Not, like, oh my god, fun journey. There we go. Okay, I was gonna say game, <laughs> game. <laughs> that's that's what I think it is for me. I like that. Like you know, giving yourself grace because there are gonna be days where it's just like 
you don't have a hundred percent days and you just don't feel like yourself but like you do need to remind yourself like like the quote that we put up recently the affirmation like i at least you're showing up for yourself every single day exactly you know to keep yourself motivated to keep yourself give you a little bit of drive onto the next thing you need to do Mm -hmm. um it's not easy but we show up for ourselves and that's important yeah that in itself is also self-love I thought it was very uh, like ironic that that was our affirmation for this week. Um, because if I'm being honest, I've not been showing up for myself this week. But we're working on it. We're getting there. Next time we record, I will be hanging on by more than a thread. I'll have both hands. Hanging on with the both hands on the ledge. <laughs> uh, but right now it's like a little pinky. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if it's a, it might be my pinky nail. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's like fitting that we're doing these topics yeah. in this month it just right? it was so everything has been so ironic this month also i learned that mercury is in retrograde so i'm gonna blame it on that mercury is in retrograde i didn't yeah. i was gonna t- i sent you guys a dm and it never sent and oh, i kept trying okay. to resend it and i was like forget this <laughs> so i'll just tell them we weren't meant to know well i wasn't meant to know <laughs> mercury is definitely in retrograde and i think it ends uh june 10th that's a long time. it's a long freaking time yeah so i'm trying not to think about it not try- right. trying but not it to was dwell. like well mercury's in retrograde yesterday was friday the 13th <laughs> yes what a week right that's <laughs> why everybody oh like that's why the universe is all out of whack it's like it's like um the tv when it goes out of signal shh Oh, oh, static. Yeah, yeah. Static. They call that white noise. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. That's ugly noise. <laughs> <laughs> ugly noise. I don't know why you call it white noise. The next question on my little little agenda sheet. <laughs> do you guys love yourself? <laughs> some days I do. <laughs> to be honest, some days I love myself. And some days I'm like, damn it, Amanda. Yeah. You're annoying. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I do tell myself, like, you're so annoying. <clears throat> Just stop. And it, and then when I tell myself I'm annoying, it's just like for the littlest things that I felt like needed to get done in the house or just like um, errands, chores, work, everything. And I'm just like, you're annoying. I, again, the monologue and the <laughs> voice in my head is just yeah. like, shut up, Amanda, and just do it. Or shut up, Amanda, and just sit down, sit your ass down and watch TV. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know Constantine is looking at me, but he's not going to say it. It's just, I'm going to let you do what you want to do. But those are days where I'm like, I don't love myself. And then there are days where I do love myself because, you know, I either ate right or went to the gym or I wanted to go get my nails done. Just do, doing something for myself, personal time. That's when I love myself the most. So, yeah, I guess I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say more days than not. <laughs> so that that means the answer is like generally yes. yeah <laughs> but it's also taken me a long time to get to this place like I feel like I didn't always have years where it was more days than not so I'm glad to be in this space now like one of the things that I think about when I'm thinking about how annoying I am earlier this week I can't remember if it was earlier this week or if it was last week but my boss came into the office and was saying good morning to everybody. So he said good morning to me. I I felt like I waved too enthusiastically. And I was like, oh, you're such an idiot. <laughs> was it like the, like the um, what's that um, oh, it was Tom Hanks movie. What's it called? Um, the the for, Forrest, Forrest, Forrest Gump, Gump. When he does the big hello. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't that big, like but it was just very excited. And it was like. 9 30 i'm sure you're just like okay <laughs> <Someone's> eager <laughs> and i was just like my goodness then i just like what i thought about it one more time at the end of the night and i was like please don't ever do that again you embarrass both of us <laughs> to me and the person that i keep in my head <laughs> so those are the things that i think about i i definitely like am one of those people who overthinks like the things that i say and mm-hmm. the things that i do and yeah. i will be like that person's still thinking about it. Meanwhile, that person literally gave it not one second of a thought. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think about things like that I say that I have said like three, three, four years ago. I'm just like, why did I think in my brain it was okay <laughs> to <laughs> say that? Yeah. And it could be like something so like I said hi the wrong way. Like, why would I say hi? Like, like when that? your voice cracks when you're trying to talk to somebody <laughs> and you're like, 
I'm sorry. That's I don't know where that oh, came from. Oh, when you're talking, then you slightly like you suck you you choke on your own saliva, and you're just uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to talk. <laughs> oh, and it doesn't even have to be strangers. Like it could be people I've been friends with for years, and I'd be like, "Bro, why'd you do that?" <laughs> Me forever <laughs> <laughs> what about you liana do you love yourself um yes yes i think i can say that confidently now <laughs> <laughs> definitely when i was younger i don't think i did but i don't know i feel like there are days where i'm just like bro stop get it together like you got you got this you got this you can you you're good. And then there are days where I'm just like, yeah, like today I love myself because I had the strength. I took the cojones and I was just like, I'm driving. That's it. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm so proud of and you. That was like, that was good for me because like now I know that I can do it on my own. For me, that's showing up for myself. Mm -hmm. And that shows to me, like, I love myself enough to do it and I can do it and learn and, you know, be on my own and be independent and all that stuff. That'll be like the next stage in my uh, love, my self love, like driving on my own. Listen, I told or you. Or just getting in the freaking car and just, just <laughs> sitting there. Just, I have to it. start with just sitting. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys, because I can remember like mm -hmm. the moment that I became self aware of self love. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you, can you guys like recall? Like, I would think I was like, 12 or 13 Oof. yeah e, and i i had this group of friends mm -hmm. in junior high mm -hmm. who like i love them all very much still to this day but we were very close in junior high they were all like very like itty, itty bitty girls mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i like didn't become aware of the fact that like i wasn't such as like a skinny child like i was never a very thin mm -hmm. child i guess but also like I was normal size like I had baby fat so because I was like 12 13 years old right. but we were hanging out at um one of the girls houses one day and we went to the park and we were just playing around and then we were like oh we should take pictures because I don't, that's what 12 13 right, year olds yes. do when they're together and so you know everybody's taking their pictures and we're all like oh this is so cute this is so cute and then like we were looking at the picture of like the four of us and my like cheeks were just like so chubby and like I had like I had baby fat still because again I was a child and I was like oh these girls are so much tinier than me like mm -hmm. that's when I became aware mm -hmm. of like how I looked in pictures and mm -hmm. how like mm -hmm. I looked in general like I became more I guess attuned self-aware mm -hmm. is the word maybe it's kind of like that scene in Mean Girls where it's like, Katie is like, I didn't realize there were so many things to hate about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what that moment was for me. I was like, yeah. oh, morning. damn. Like, there are a lot of things that could be quote unquote wrong with me. Yeah. So that was my, like, moment. Again, you guys, I already showed you guys that I was a giant as a kid. I told you. Yeah, she was not lying. She literally didn't grow since she was, like, 11 years old. Yeah, she know. was not lying. I was not lying. I told you. And... I think it it had to be like early on, like elementary school, because I was like, I want to say it was seven or eight when I noticed like I was like taller mm -hmm. than, you know, most of the kids in my class. And I thought at some point, like, I would just like, I, I know we're growing, but like, I didn't think I was just going to have like a huge growth spurt <laughs> and keep growing. And like, I was just so tall and all of my other friends were just like, smaller than me shorter and I was just like yo what is wrong with me and I kind of felt like self-conscious about it because like yeah the uh like graduation pictures like after the ceremony in elementary school like we took pictures together and I was just like very tall so I had to like like squat down and I was always in the back of the line because the tallest go in the back of the line so I was oh I could remember oh, like yeah. I was, you would have always been in the back in the group pictures if you look at my school pictures, my class pictures, I'm always in the back. No, I had to be in the front yeah. row. <laughs> and yeah, and like I got teased about it. So yeah, so it made me feel like, I don't know, I felt like out of place. But also like I felt like I needed to change my appearance. I told you like because I looked so much older, I felt like I needed to dress a little bit older. So it kind of like messed with me a little bit. So that, that I think that that had to be like 
like the peak of me, like not being comfortable, not like loving myself when I was with like my other peers. Mm -hmm. Well, with family, I didn't care. Mm-hmm. I didn't really, we didn't, like, I, we didn't see it. Like, I didn't see it with my cousins. Like, my cousins were short, also shorter than me, but I didn't see it with them. But I saw it mostly when I was in school. Well, your cousins, mm-hmm. well, your other two cousins, they're pretty tall. So did they have, did the same thing happen to them, like, around? Yeah, my other cousin was shorter than me. But at some point, they, like, stretched also overnight that I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out when that was. How to be in middle school for them. We are, you are around the same age. So we're all around, around the same, the same age. So we're like two years apart. You being the oldest? No, they're other, they, one other cousin is older than me by four years, five, five years, five years. And <laughs> they're not tall. <laughs> <laughs> they're not tall. But, um, yeah, but the one cousin that we were talking about just at one point just passed me, and I was just like, "What happened?" <laughs> but again, we never—I never saw it with family like height. It was always with like other people in my class. Is your dad tall? Is my dad tall? <laughs> my dad. So when they were dating my mom and my parents, my dad told my mom that he was five. 11 or Never 5 10. Guy who tells her, he tells no. you their height. It doesn't work out when you lie, guys. <laughs> and then she saw his ID and it says, Wait, this is 5'9 five nine, five nine or 5'10. You lied to me. You're not 5'11. He was like, Oh, no, I'm 5'11. But yeah, but my dad isn't, I guess he's average height for a man, 5'10. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's average height. This freaking grew and there's nobody tall in like my family like that. So I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's my my first encounter with, you know, my self-love journey. <sighs> and you know what's funny for me is that the girls that I hung out with, like, none of them ever, like, had any... It was literally all me. Like, yeah. I was able to, like, conjure that problem by myself, which mm-hmm. is a specialty of mine to this day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but what about you, Liana? What was your moment? Um, I think for me, it started pretty young. <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned it in the podcast before, but um, I was bullied when I was younger. Um, So, like, I was very self-aware of, like, literally everything. Mm -hmm. The glasses that I wore, um, my eyebrows, my hair on my arms, Mm -hmm. my my fucking toes. Like, literally. I was like, yeah, they were like, oh, your big toes like way too big. And I'm just like. I remember crying. I went up to my room. I didn't come out for, like, the rest of the day. So, like literally always I was always like aware like it started very young for me and so like it's a work in part it took me a long time to like let that all go and like kind of like fall back in love with myself like I used to shave my arms yeah girl me too I used to shave my arms and then I'm sorry used to shave my arms and I was like you know what why am I doing this Mm -hmm. I'm doing this for like other people like why like why am i doing this like and then i stopped same and now i love my arm hair me too I get <laughs> they keep me warm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said eyebrows too like eyebrows that was a thing like early well, when we were kids thick. thin oh well she had right you have thick, thick eyebrows like at, at, that, at one point i did have thick eyebrows and then like the thing back then was to have thin eyebrows mm-hmm. so thin so stupid thin and there was one time i just shaved <clears throat> my eyebrows I sh- like I shaved, shaved it eyebrow? thin, like, like, like thin, like off? not off, oh, but like Lord. like around it, so thin. Oh my god! How pissed was your mom? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> Maybe she like smacked it out of me that I don't remember. I don't recall that moment. But my dad was very, like, what the hell did you do to your face? Wait, so did your eyebrows go back? They grew back the way they were. No, so like now they're thicker. They were thinner than what you've seen right. What you're seeing right now. Okay, we're gonna find another picture. We'll go back. Girl, yeah. Because my dad was like, What the hell did you do? And I had, and going back at those pictures, I'm like, I had nice eyebrows. Stupid again. Stupid Amanda. <laughs> yeah, man. The outside world is not nice to you. Insecurity mm-hmm. makes you do crazy things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was tough for me. I think and I got it from both sides too. Like, I got it from outside people and I got it from family. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. It was tough. No, I think my 
I would have been like, oh, I got it from your side. (laughs) I mean, I did. So it's like, I I don't know what you want me to tell you. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of crazy. I can't imagine that. I will say, like, my family would say stuff about weight. Not just to me, but like to everybody in general. Like mm-hmm. there have been weight comments, but I but I feel like that's just a thing and <laughs> that Hispanic yeah. families do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also though, correct me if I'm wrong, but like Hispanic culture, like you get a nickname based on like a physical feature of oh, you. Yeah. Like, yeah. My nickname was way. Plaquita yeah. my whole life. Yeah. Whole like, life. And now like I feel like if I gain any amount of weight, it would be very obvious. So like yeah. it's very <sighs> telling you started real young started real young for me (laughs) and that was also like the first like comment they would make like if we like saw aunts and uncles we hadn't seen in a while and they're like oh wow amanda looks well how old is amanda and my mom would be like oh she's like nine oh he's been arita she's really tall and i'm like that could have just said i'm very pretty or like something else or like oh that's great but the first thing was always arita like very Mm -hmm. tall and at that point i was still very like i'm very conscious about like my height so yeah so i was just like okay i think sometimes i think of you as like very tall and then i see you and i'm like she's not that tall (laughs) (laughs) because sometimes when i'm like i don't know i don't know why sometimes i just think of you amanda (laughs) i'll (laughs) I'll be like wow amanda's very tall and then i'll be like wait no she's not at all also you're not that tall i mean like you're tall they're taller than me and liana but you're Mm -hmm. not yeah, I'm not six foot one. Right, I'm not, and I've I've. Like, I can see how I could feel like that sometimes, though. Like I've come to terms with it, and like I'm happy about my height now. My, I'm happy and comfortable with my height now. Mm-hmm. I used to slouch a lot too, and because I used to slouch, like I still find myself doing it. Like when I'm a little like when I feel like insecure or out of place, I find myself doing. It. I'm like, man, Amanda, no, and I remind myself, no, Amanda, like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. chest out shoulders back like it's fine like you're you're an adult you know like nobody gives a, a yeah. bug about your height anymore you know so like now again i'm happy i'm comfortable i love my, my i love my height i do it's something that i can embrace now but boy it took us like a good couple of years like maybe like end of middle school because that's one of the like the, the the boys in my class started growing. Mm. And I was like, okay, finally. I was like, no, take join me up here. <laughs> Come on. It's a little lonely. It's a little lonely up here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's like, oh. okay. So, what else do you love about yourself, Amanda? <laughs> what is something else that you can point to and say that you love about yourself? Oh, what's something else I could point out to? I don't know. I guess like my smile. Because I was told like I smile like my dad. My mom always tells me you smile like your dad. But my dad also has my grandfather's smile who I never got to meet because he passed away before I was born. Mm -hmm. So I like to think I carry my grandfather's smile and the dimples. So that's something I love about myself physically. But um, something about myself like internally and like mentally is I am coming to terms with my anxiety and how the anxiety can affect like my appearance as well how I feel inside so like I try not to get into my head so much and and I try to give myself like um my own affirmations or like you know the show Insecure when Issa is in front of the mirror and she starts to like rapping and talking to herself and hyping herself up like I've I'm learning to do that so that way, like mentally, like I'm also feeding my mind positivity. So it gives me that self-love. So I, I've been starting to do like I'm starting to do that. Like, good morning, Amanda. Like sometimes I, I won't even say it out loud, but I'm mouthing it to myself in the mirror. Mm-hmm. And Constantine wakes up after me. So it's OK. So it's like my time. He doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> yeah, see so you, he, hear he you. doesn't hear, see me. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's something like I'm doing that I'm proud and happy with my self-love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> really what, yeah. What about you, Liana? Um, I think what I'm starting to love about myself is like my confidence. And because, you know, like I mentioned, it took me a long time to get to where I am. 
self-esteem wise and everything like it took me a long it took me a while so I'm really proud of how far I've come and like not letting those past insecurities affect me today because they still come back mm -hmm. they're they're always going to be there like I'm always going to think about wow this is a lot of arm hair like oh this is a really big toe like I, I'm always going to have like those like intrusive thoughts but I'm happy that I've gotten to a point in my life where it's like yeah, I have a big toe, but that's my big toe. And it keep, and it takes me places, <laughs> right? you know? Couldn't get around without it. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> you know, so I think I really do. I'm proud of myself for mm -hmm. that. And yeah. And I think back to what you were saying, like coming to terms with like the anxieties that I feel sometimes and feeling okay to feel those things mm -hmm. um, and understanding that it's normal to have those feelings mm -hmm. and it's not like like I'm not not normal for feeling nervous or like mm -hmm. like having intrusive thoughts or whatever you know like I don't know that's something that I love about myself so. yeah preach amen yeah how about you Christina uh -huh. I was actually thinking about this the other day about how when I was younger, I would like cry because like pe my peers, well, they are my peers, but would tell me that I, that I was ugly. And I used to be like really upset about it. And mind you, like my entire family, like nobody was like telling me that. Like I was in that sense and like my outward appearance, I was always like spoken to very positively. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you're very pretty or like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I never, like, had negative comments about that. All of that came from, like, outside. Mm -hmm. So reflecting back on it, I kind of can't understand how, like, I let random people's opinions, mm -hmm. um, like, dictate the way that I felt about myself. Yeah. I was just like, man, we cried so much and literally wasted those tears because, like, yeah. Mm, it sorry. Really yeah. It really <laughs> and so I am, like, proud of honestly though being like a teenage girl is so freaking hard and it's mm -hmm. honestly it's so annoying and yeah I don't know if there are any teenage girls listening to us but if there are like life is so much better once you get done being a teenager don't rush it though like be a kid no do be because also kid. like being an adult is annoying because you have to pay yeah. bills and all this other madness that we deal with yeah I agree but if you're thinking, like, because sometimes people will tell you, like, oh, this is the best time of your life. And it's like, mm, my life has only gotten better yeah. since I was a teenager. Like, it was a good time in my life, but my life has gotten a million times better yeah. since not being a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have been able to really, I guess, appreciate, yeah, appreciate myself and realize that, like, People are always going to have opinions of me and I'm not always going to be for everybody and that's fine. I don't want to be for everybody. I don't want to be so, Yeah. I don't, bland maybe isn't the right word, but so like palatable that everybody loves me because then at that point, like I don't have any. There's nothing like distinctive. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to say spice. That was a terrible word to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what you said is better <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah there's nothing like distinctive about me there's nothing unique or original right. yes yeah. better words those are better <laughs> <laughs> so i would say that i am at a place where i finally don't want a nose job anymore love that for me <laughs> <laughs> we're past that phase <laughs> um i do really like my smile and uh, like non-aesthetically or non-appearance wise I feel like the people who like come to me with maybe like things that they're going on they're going on in their lives mm -hmm. that I'm able to like make them feel a little better yeah I guess like a, not necessarily a caretaker but like an emotional caretaker I guess mm -hmm. I think that I'm really good at that I've been told I'm really good at that and I I think I've that I'm compassionate. That's the word that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm describing. Like, I'm a compassionate, empathetic person. And, okay, so in what ways or in what areas do you think you guys can improve your self-love? Like, what are you still working on? Yes. 
Ugh, everything. Because it's like, like we were saying before, like it's a journey. Like it's not something that you can just do in a day, something. And mm-hmm. it's like, like I said before, you know, you're always going to have those intrusive thoughts. And so oh, always having to improve on not letting them get to you because they're going to get to you at some point, you mm-hmm. know, they're going to be like, I could wake up tomorrow and just be like, nope gotta shave these arms and I'm gonna do it right you know but like it's self-love is a journey and it's you know like like I said before love is a lot of work and you have to put in the time and you have to put in the effort to love yourself so that you can love the other people around you yeah I I think self-love is one of those things that I don't ever actually like see an into you know like there are some some things some journeys some things you go on that they have an end point and then once you get there you're done I think for me at least I'll constantly always be learning to love myself at like whatever stage I am because I just recently had to get to the point where I loved myself in like an almost like 30 year old person yeah like (laughs) very weird about aging I'm not a fan (laughs) I gotta say (laughs) um but Literally, I'm just going to keep doing it. <laughs> so I got to like get That was me. Get like, past it. I was at work and I was getting off the elevator and I'm like, oh, damn, I'm 29. <laughs> and I went and I, and I swiped in to like go into my office. and I don't know what made me think about that. Well, sometimes like I'll just thoughts. look in the mirror and I'll be like, damn, you're 28 yeah. years old. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> Like, when did you age? How did? Because sometimes, sometimes I'm like, oh, I've lived like this life so far and I have so much more life to live. Then other times it feels like it happened overnight. I was yeah. like, bro, I was literally just living at home. What? How did we get from here to there? Yep. Like I have like these little white hairs. You guys can see it. Yeah. But like I have like these three little white hairs in the front of my head. And at first I hated them. I was going to dye my hair. I was like, this is, I'm done with this. But now I'm just like, you know what? These are cute. <laughs> and I'm going to keep them. And if they show, they show, man. Yeah. Yeah, aging. Mm, <laughs> that's probably going to be a whole other episode at one point. <laughs> we're not fans of it. <laughs> it's also, like, not our fault, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like so much emphasis is put on aging. It's, also, it's like a social media thing as well. Like, social media plays a big part into self-love I think and I am learning how to utilize social media in a way that is not detrimental to my Mm -hmm. self-esteem Mm self-confidence because I think what has helped a lot is realizing like how much of the stuff that's on social media is filtered because for a very long time I just was like these people just look like this not even Mm -hmm. like celebrities but like regular people yeah Yeah. but then also like regular people are out there like filter like we all use filters like Mm -hmm. snapchat has filters instagram has filters like that are and there are filters on instagram that literally will change like your entire face Mm -hmm. and i think i didn't realize like how harmful the filters were to me until like i was taking a picture without one and i didn't realize they were making my nose thinner and yeah and like yeah it like makes your nose thinner and my lips are already kind of like they're fine like they don't get fuller really with an instagram filter but it was making my nose thinner and i was just like oh that is interesting so i had to like stop using them because again like i'm fine like my nose is fine like it's not it that's what it needs to do (laughs) it smells (laughs) Breathe yeah, you. it breathes. Oh yeah, <laughs> it, <tough. laughs> yeah. It does what it does its job. So like, it's fine. But when I realized that I didn't like how my nose looked without the filter, I was like, okay, we got to be done with these. And I think a lot of people are learning how to use social media in a way where it won't affect like their self esteem or their self confidence. Because I have one friend who just stays off it in general. I unfortunately do not have that willpower. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> what am I supposed to do when I'm trying to look busy? Like I have no Instagram <laughs> no. to scroll through. <laughs> um, but I think I could definitely. I social media is one way actually I can improve like my self love, like being more conscious of how time, how much time I'm spending on it. And being um, conscious of the people that I follow, like if I'm following them 
I think somebody told me one time that like if you're following somebody and like following them does not make you feel good, then just unfollow them. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't, you don't, if, cause social media is like a self curated space mm-hmm. and like you want to curate it to things that are going to make you feel good, things that you like, things that make yeah. you happy. And if something that somebody's posting is not making me feel good about myself, then maybe I just need to let it go. It's like a, for me, it's like a two edged sword because it's like, Double edged sword, that's the word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it's like, am I being sensitive or like, do I really need to unfollow this person? Mm-hmm. I think because what my head does is it's like, well, if you loved yourself more, maybe it wouldn't bother you. But then it's like getting to that spot where you like mm-hmm. loved yourself more. I don't know. Also, sometimes we just have bad like self esteem, self love days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. And the, well, on those days, like, I am more conscious, like, to maybe like stay off social media a little yeah, bit or to like yeah. only be on like things where I'm reading something mm-hmm. and less like pictures and then also I constantly remind myself that like our our picture based like social media feeds are one moment in time like that person captured one moment where they felt really happy where they thought they looked good and put it online like nobody's gonna put the bad things online or nobody's gonna put all of like the like bad days that they have on social media and if they do then they're dramatic yes yeah Exactly. So it's also just like, I think for me, it's like learning not to take it so seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because literally everybody is just trying to get through the day. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know if I answered the question that I asked, but <laughs> what about you, man? And what areas or ways are you, can you improve your self love? Ways to improve my self love. I don't want to sound repetitive, but it really is intrusive thoughts. Yeah. It's just like, that's good to know because our next episode is on positive self-talk. Oh, so, lovely. <laughs> so, yeah, like, it's intrusive thoughts about, like... But it could literally be anything. Anything. And that's why it's so hard to, like, pick and point out what specifically, but it's just, like, literally anything. Again, I told you, stepping out of the elevator when I was going to work, and I got on my floor, and I was like, oh, I'm 29. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That's it. No more twenties after this. So okay. Oh my and then God. I started yeah. thinking about. And then I can't. Yeah. I, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I can't <laughs> even say I'm in my twenties. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like in my thirties. And I kept on going on and on. I'm like, oh, then I'm gonna be in my fifties. And then I thought about my mom. And I was just like, all these thoughts <laughs> were just. As I was walking down the hallway to my office, and I was just like, okay, Amanda, you need to stop. You and I done stopped. With this thought. <laughs> Don't put it away. Yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna tie us a little bow, and we're just gonna put this aside. And I stopped when I opened up the door into my office. I was like, "Oh, hey, good morning," and I said, "Good morning" to my coworker. But it was like, it's just it happens. Yeah. And ways to, I guess, improve that. Like I tell you, it is like looking in the mirror and mouthing things like not saying out loud but maybe that maybe that's the next step i need to do is say it out loud yeah i'm thinking it and then telling myself just mouthing the words but maybe i need to say it out loud so that way it it's actually sticks with me and it's it penetrates stays in my head like yes amanda you are these things you can be these things don't let these like you know x y and z bother you or this is what you need to do if this happens i think i need to like say it out loud and hear myself say it so that way it actually feels real to me. Yeah. So that's a way I can improve myself. Love. Maybe that is the next step for you because I I also just talk to myself out loud. Only when I'm by myself though. Like mm-hmm. I don't do it when other people are around. Yeah. Because but well yeah, when I am by myself or even when I'm like at work, I'll be like, God, why'd you do that? You knew you were supposed to do this or like so and it it helps honestly to say my affirmations out loud it was actually a tip that I got from my therapist and I was like that's so silly I'm not gonna do that like I'm what do I look like that's what I'm thinking literally right now you're like yeah Yeah. I was like why am I gonna talk to myself but I was already like talking outwardly to myself when I would be like oh Christina why did you do that or like okay I need to do this this and this I was like yeah like is it that much of a leap for me to like say Same. my affirmations mm-hmm. out loud so it has helped um i do f- sometimes i do still feel a little silly doing it um but that's i've also noticed that those are the days that like i'm struggling a little bit more mm-hmm. when i'm having like really good days i don't even think twice about it i just do it mm-hmm. 
But on days that I'm struggling a little bit more, I'll be like, this is so silly. Like, why am I doing this? So, you know, all works in progress. <laughs> Alexa told me an affirmation this morning. She was like, what did she say? I believe in myself and trust something in my abilities or something. She was like, say it out loud. I'm like, no, we're stopping this right now. <laughs> okay, we're done with that. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that, but we're done. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, before we go, I have to ask, because it's been a minute, what is making you guys glow this week? Bad Bunny. That, that album. That album is, oh my God, it's beautiful. I love it. I like, haven't stopped listening to it. Same. Like, I listen to it every day. I love it wholeheartedly. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. Yeah, that's what makes me glow. That's what's making me glow. Maybe next week will be the same. I don't know. I can't. I, <laughs> I can't promise anything. You never know what he's going to do next. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine another vi uh, music video. My Lord. I know. He keeps on like dropping them. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hmm. <laughs> um, but anything in particular for you guys? Um. Uh, after we record, I'm actually meeting up with a friend from high school. Nice. I'm gonna show her around the city. She's here for a couple of months working, so that will be fun. I'm looking. I am looking forward to that. I love when I have people from home that are up here. It's good. Yeah. Um, I think for me, <clears throat> I'm seeing my mom after this. Nice. Yeah. Are you driving to her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably call my dad to help me find parking. It's fine. <laughs> Are you guys going to do anything in particular or just? No, she said she's going to cook, which is great because I'm starving. Okay. Have a little cafecito with mom. Oh. Hang out with my brothers. Oh, and we're also going to a baseball game tomorrow. Oh, nice. Ironic. <laughs> but yeah. Which game? Yeah. You're asking the wrong person. Oh, okay. The, in, in Queens or in the Bronx? In Queens. Oh, so you're going to see the Mets. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess. Wow, this is your second baseball game in like a month. <laughs> okay. All right. Too not. many. <laughs> So, Liana, when can the people find us? Nope. Mm. <laughs> Always, every time. Liana, where can the people find <laughs> us? <laughs> you guys can catch us here every Wednesday on YouTube and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Um, make sure you leave us a glowing review because uh, we love to hear from you guys. I uh, love to see what you guys are getting from the things that we say and yeah you know we love y'all like the things us. that we say if <laughs> you are even enjoying it um but yeah we love to hear from you guys so leave us a review because we like them <laughs> and then you can also find us on instagram at going up latina continue to like our posts the uh, send us dms um, comments and then you can also send us um, you know topics of your choice if you want to us sorry if you want us to discuss here on the podcast at glowinguplatina at gmail.com and until next week keep glowing me bye bye